Okay, I'll admit there are almost more cat than books in this month's book chat. But since most of you only tune in to see the latest antics by Jinx, you'll appreciate this. And thanks to my sister Christy, those of you who are really looking for the book titles will be able to see that on the blog anyways. Well, before I could even start the book chat this month, Jinx showed up. So, if nothing else, you'll at least get a fix of Jinx in this month's book chat. Heather Blake launches the Magic Potion Mysteries with a potion to die for. I love the cats on the cover. Carly Bell Hartwell owns Little Shop of Potions, a magic potion shop specializing in love potions. But business falls off quickly when Carly finds a dead man in her shop, clutching one of her potion bottles. Carly is going to have to find a killer before she becomes the victim of a witch hunt. Words with Fiends is the latest black cat bookshop mystery by Allie Brandon. Brooklyn bookstore owner Darla Pettison wants to get her oversized black cat Hamlet out of his feline funk. And it seems that the murder of Darla's karate teacher might just do the trick. After all, Hamlet has a black belt in detection. Charms and Chocolate Chips is the third in the Magical Bakery series by Bailey Cates. Katie Lightfoot is so caught up in brewing magically spiced treats at Honey Bee Bakery and volunteering with a local conservation group that she barely has time to delve into her destiny as a witch. But avoiding her fate won't be as easy as whipping up a new recipe, especially when she finds herself involved in murder again. E.J. Copperman returns to his Haunted Guest House series with The Thrill of the Haunt. Allison Kirby's Haunted Guest House business is thriving, but so is her private investigation business. Now, when two deaths land on her doorstep, she has a mountain of clues, motives, and suspects, both living and dead. Freezer I'll Shoot is the third vintage kitchen, kitchen mystery by Virginia Hamilton. When vintage kitchenware enthusiast Jamie Layton discovers a dead man in an ice house with an ice pick in his heart, she has to sharpen her detecting skills to chip away at the mystery. Jen McKinley is an expert at mixing libraries and small town life. In Read It and Weep, the fourth library lover's mystery, Briar Creek Community College launches its newest Shakespeare production. Unlike the rest of her staff, library director Lindsay Norris has no intention of leaving the stacks for the stage. But there's a villain waiting in the wings. Dr. Sophie Knowles loves using puzzles to make math fun for students. However, in Ada Madison's The Quotient of Murder, Professor Knowles must thaw out a cold case at Henley College in order to track down a killer. It's Sophie's most difficult puzzle yet. November's last release is Elaine Veet's new mystery featuring mystery shopper Josie Marcus, Fixing to Die. When Josie and her new husband find a dead body in their backyard, it's up to them to solve the mystery before the killer strikes even closer to home. November's a killer month for mysteries. Settle in with a hot drink, maybe a cat or two, and a good book from Penguin's Berkeley Prime Crime and Obsidian. Enjoy!